avid tea drinker. I never really thought about the environmental impact. The environmental impact seems to be quite significant in large areas of this, of this place. my hotel I've got a small balcony private one but this is like a communal one and this is candy gonna go down to the city down there get something to eat explore tomorrow you can hear all the birds. It's like this all around the city. Weird. It's quite beautiful views up here. And it's really, really noisy down in the city, as one would imagine. But it's quite chilled and calm out here. Uh, I've climbed up to the Big Buddha in Tandy. It's quite a trick in this midday heat, but this is candy. Beautiful, isn't it? It's a lot more touristy than, say, Anunoya or even Ella, really. It's busier, touristy. It's worth a visit, but it's not my favourite place so far look at those views eh? this is the buddhist temple i don't know how high i dare get to be honest and this is the buddha That's quite high actually. This is the Buddha. That's quite see the scale. I think it might give you a sense of scale of people. There it goes all the way up there. This is where actually people I don't know, do you, do you pray to Buddha? Do you worship Buddha? I thought Buddha wasn't a, a thing. I thought it was a, an idea. Uh, but hey, I'm no scholar on the subject. This is the temple of the sacred tooth relic. Also Dalada. Magawa and it's yeah it's it's supposed to hold the tooth of Buddha and it's supposed to be an important political thing because say whoever holds the tooth holds power uh, yeah it basically it's a big shrine because it holds the tooth of Buddha it was this area was complete this building completed in 1595 the Sri Lankan authorities approach to temples is very very different to the Indian approach this is like it <clears throat> we prefer you not to video but you know no smoking no drinking alcohol you know and I had my headscarf on, said, oh, are you, are you Sikh? I said, oh, no, it's just to protect my bald head from burning. I said, take it off if you want. I said, oh, if you don't mind, please, take it off. And it's very, it's a polite way of saying you can't do this and you can't do that. So this is inside the temple, of course. Oh, 
beautiful pool. It's quite a bygone era where you flaunt your ivory tusks. a lot more sense in. This is why it's, I suppose it's the equivalent to the Shroud of Turin in Jesus. Although this is supposed to be an actual body part, his tooth. I find religion really bizarre and this just, this is one of the reasons why Basically, they worship their tooth. The gardens. I'm not going to light a candle for just for obvious reasons really. It's quite a big area. It's part of the royal palace as well. I believe it's just behind me. Somewhere around here. quite a big site actually. It cost like 2,000 rupees to get in, which is equivalent of five British pounds. So I would say it's pretty good value for money to be honest. And these are the royal elephants. It's tied up still. Two elephants here. Both of them have been out in the sun way too long. Got really bad sunburn. But don't get me wrong. Uh, yes, they keep animals like this here. It's against my sensibilities, and I don't like it. But I'm also not part of the Sri Lankan culture, where it's this is not only preferable. It's it's just it's it's cultural. So you got to take that. I don't like it, but so what? Tough shit, me. I do think they're quite beautiful, majestic creatures. It does pain me to see them tied up and so sunburnt, but that's me. I'm not part of this culture. Skins, husks. Seems to like it. 
urgency to bother it. Like a, a lot of places, you have to take your shoes off. Um, to, temples, but this is quite a big area and the ground is really, really hot. I'm glad I've got some socks on to a bit of protection, otherwise I don't know if I could walk this. It's quite an impressive temple. Some really fish in this lake. 